Hi everybody, today I'm slowing top coder racing around match 749. I'm a bit late for the round, so let's just jump straight into it. So, three problems. Okay, no submissions yet in two minutes. Okay, let's go with the easy problem. So, here we have monster with a given number of hit points we have a tank that gives a given number of damage and there are level skill points in a skill and skill increases the amount of damage when attacking the monster multiple times must be slightly shatter after the first one will deal m more point of damage than the previous one where M is level percent. Oh, that uh, this is just so complicated. Magic sword can be used to level scroll. You must spell that activates next duration attack. In each of those attack, it heals regular damage and also magical damage. So basically, five times damage for duration. And but skip in one second. Okay. okay, so the amount of damage with each attack increases like in a constant progression. And okay, or doesn't if there was zero. linearly increases so it's not exponential but linear okay we can once do five times damage so either we do not use the scroll or we use it after some point okay so and it should be used before the last attacks, before the most powerful so we do binary search. Yeah, and then we need to handle the case where we do not use the scroll at all. We can also be done by binary search. Okay, not, not a nice problem, but we can persevere. Okay, so I don't... So now we to try this where duration is zero means we don't have any magic. So let's my search for how much we attack normally before using the increase, right? So if we attack zero times or minus one time and then because zero times can also be good enough if we increase magically. Actually, this is a bit tricky, so is it true that the earliest, yeah, because it doesn't make sense to waste, uh, waste, if we could have increased earlier, and yeah, but it could be that 
uh, in a previous position if we increase then it's not enough to, ki to kill and in the next position if we increase we already kill one moment earlier so we need to find the actual a moment okay so no magic long HP HP long base long increment so first we solve the case where there is no magic Definitely enough, right? Because we give at least bits every time. Okay. So I will write minus left more than one. So I'll just do binary search. And then our. Oh, we can overflow here, okay. Or can we? Yeah, I guess we can. Okay. So first is base, last is base plus okay, so increment is actually less than base, right? Okay. Less chances for overflow there. Yeah, less slightly, maybe not. Okay, we could overflow here, I guess. Well, who said this problem? Really? I mean, really, why would I have to solve this problem? Anyway, uh, enough philosophy. And probably not, not so good to try to be personal here. It's just not a very nice problem, it happens. Okay, so first equals base, last equals okay, base plus increment times middle minus one. Both, okay. Middle is the number of seconds we attack. Yep. So double approximate equals first plus last. Middle both the right chances of HP because increment is less than base, yes. Times double middle divided by two. Exact equals plus plus last times middle divided by two. If mm -hmm. so if we too much. Then it's enough, so right equals middle, else left equals middle, and then we return right. It's a number of seconds to solve without magic. So, is this at least correct? Are there any cases where there is no magic? Yeah, there are cases with one second. Let's now if compliance will slow because recording the video. Okay, so at least my numbers are always bigger. Okay. Okay, so 
here. No, we inject timing things, so it doesn't, doesn't make sense to wait for so much. So now we can have left equals minus one, right equals no magic time. We are going to deal. Okay. Equals solve no magic. HP minus exact. Attack times five. Increment times four. Oh, attack last times. Last times five. Increment times five. Yeah. So that's right. So I think that's me. And now we just need to try right. extra mm, yeah so if we attack then extra heal will less duration so that's how much we will more we will need okay yeah like tons of possibilities for bugs in this solution should I let stress immediately or spend so much time already okay the scoreboard here Okay, some submissions of this problem. Okay, yeah, let's write stresses very fast. So, even though stress will not check for overflow, yeah. It passes the samples, but so, so annoying. 
overflow in theory only here might be a problem because the rest of so them yeah the rest seems like it should be fairly good seems like it should be fairly good okay let's run the test let's test for some overflow shaking Just need to write some stupid, which will be for int activate multiple zero plus plus activated. Is it gonna here? Time equals one plus plus time. If time equals activated, remain equal zero, remain equals duration, otherwise equal equals attack. Okay, here we go. Damage plus zero. Okay, here is damage plus equals core. Plus equals increments minus minus remain. Right. And then if damage is more than HP, and yes, it was mostly yes, uh, time. If activate that was in time, return yes. I think so. If we never activate it and already finished, then we're done. Okay. Await overflow where? Okay. Overflow long, what? Oh, right. Break also. Of course, it overflows. Yeah. Because we're not gonna get okay, seems to work. Okay, let's try ten thousand test cases. Okay, seems to work. Okay, 
Let's try a second problem. Oh, maybe third. Yeah, actually, let's go for third. Second doesn't seem too easy. There's not much time left. Let's go for third. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, is there a rectangle? Where rows represent floors. And the stair on the left side. Okay. We start at the top bottom left corner, need to return to bottom left corner. Okay, no minimum time to turn off all the lights. Wait, based on obvious? What's the trick? Wait, what's the trick in this problem? Wait, wait, what's the trick in this problem? Why this is don't this go full floors and turn off? Oh, left must and right must. Okay, there are two stairs. Okay, now it makes sense. Because with one stair it doesn't make any sense. Okay. So we have rectangle. Two stairs. No lights and stairs. So we have to finish all. Basically, in every row we have the set of positions we want to visit. Okay, so if we ever cross, yeah, I guess. For example, if all lights are on, this is the fastest way to be cross and cross back, and then cross and cross back. Yeah, I do this. So basically, in every row, we either traverse it from left to right, or we go from eat it from the left, or eat it from the right. The only situation is kind of we know how much it costs to eat it from the left, how much it costs to do it from the right. We could actually eat it both from left and from right. Yeah, that also could work. Yeah, and then there are many school choices. Okay. Interesting. The field is nine rows and up to 47 columns. Nine rows. Okay. <laughs> Something exponential, right? Probably. Yes, we cannot really iterate over all choices how we handle each row, right? The power of nine would be fine, but then because of this middle thing is possible, we can go try three to the power of nine. Yeah, actually, if you go both from left from right, then we know what is optimal position to stop, obviously. Right, so we have four to the power of nine actually choices. So two to the power of eighteen, like how do we handle each row? And then when we know, then we know like on which so for some rows we need to traverse, some rows we need to be there on the left stair at least once, some rows need to be there on the right stair at least once. And some rows we need to be there both left and right if we traverse, right? And so, yeah, number of traversals has to be no, still not. Obvious. Probably it's the right idea, so check how we handle each row. Four. We can try five choices. Then not all combinations will be okay. So five to the power of nine is still. Yeah, that's very big. Two million. We can afford that. 
so we try like we basically we know now we go to the row from left to right and from right to left okay now what we need is we start in the bottom let's say we need to traverse the bottom row but on the left we want to the left Yeah, I guess if we go to the left, then ultimately we'll go back. So there should be uh, equal number of traversals from left to right and from right to left. But then we know in which positions we want to be on the right stair and which positions we want to be on the left stair. So. We still kind of have choices, right? So, okay. Let's see, there are two rows which we traverse. Let's, you know, let's draw all rows which we traverse from left to right. Then, if we go normally, then we kind of alternate what we pass. But we actually have we go up and down. So in theory, we should be able to be at everything, right? Like this, like this, like this, and turn the book down. No, oh, no. It's not like this, unfortunately. We cannot visit everything. Even though we might like to do it. Yeah. But it's just nine. Can there be something really. Really simple here. And it's just nine. It's kind of in all cases we almost guaranteed to. I think that it's always nice to alternate, kind of, there's no benefit of the pass. Yeah, but kind of almost. Everything except one segment. Okay, let's see. We have six horizontal moves. Then we start here, we go here, 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 we go 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 here. So we pass everything except two, two vertical segments. It's probably always like this. Right? Yeah, because there's like top level segment, we probably pass it on both sides, and the next segment, on every direction we pass it, we will be only on one side. Into kind of, if you look at two paths, yeah, let's draw two paths starting from the top. And then we kind of on odd paths, we always pass both, and even odd, we always pass only one, no matter what, no matter how they are distributed, kind of. Assuming we only go up and down, of course, that probably makes sense. 
Look at the ultimate link to turn to this. Yeah, I guess. Oh, but could it make sense to go like this? Let's see, we have four. If we go up, then down, then up, then down. Then we pass two things twice, but then we could just go up and down here to get the same performance. Yes, yeah, probably that's not optimal. Okay, so I think this is probably it. So, again, now we check how we pass everything. Now we can choose like for if we choose on which rows we do for row pass between them, kind of after odd number of rows. Uh, after odd number of such rows, we will be on both sides, kind of for free, and on even number of such rows, we can go from top or from bottom. Yeah, okay, so this is like 2 to the power of 18 times 9, something like this. So it should be pretty fast, actually. Okay. Okay, let's implement this. Also another problem that they could be some really tricky corner cases, but it doesn't seem to be like this. Yeah. Okay. Check what is the behavior for every row. Put it into a red. D equals mask shift left to and three. Okay, so let's say here. Through one means taken from the left, two means taken from the right, three means taken from both left and right. Yeah. Yeah, then if it's empty, you can treat it as taken. Oh no, actually. Empty it's okay if it's empty then it's either we pass it or one, two, three for it means we don't do anything. First one, then cost from the right costs to error equal two times calls minus C, right? Minus one minus C, right? Cost one error equals two times C. And then it will get updated, so it will be written. Okay, so the 
this costs will be set to infinity and then minus one. So here play will go C and here we do if play of more than zero. If we found two if we found two sharps then cost three r equals mass min cost three r two times prayer plus two times cos minus one minus c and then here also cos three r cos mass min cos three r mass min and cos two r so yeah if we go from both sides and we can might as well use only one side so this way we found the costs. Mm -hmm. Two times three, two times two. Yeah, it sounds reasonable. And cost for zero equals uh, if we pass it, we spend cost minus one. Is one row. Yeah, we might pass some row over there and back, but then back just to get back. Right, so we can check which one. So in case we have an odd number, we could, I guess. Uh, yeah. not look at some point but why not pass this in the next row in that case mm, yeah it doesn't seem to hurt anything to instead of duplicating pass in the other direction using the next row so the only problem when we pass all rows horizontally and there is an odd number of them. Oh, yeah, actually all rows maybe not up to because then go using the next could mean that we don't... Okay. Okay, so maybe there will be at least one sharp. No. Okay, now let's try this. While rows more than zero and empty rows minus one minus minus one. So if rows equals to zero, return zero, right? So if there is nothing at all, yeah. Otherwise, we know the top row is non empty, so we must reach it. So now we say. Here are a copy of empty rows. Okay, so here we truncated everything so that it's consistent with the new value of rows. Okay, so we back to rows. So now, yeah, basically, the only trick is. So we have used all rows as an odd number, then okay, so here if non zero percent to not equal to zero, if non zero equals rows, so far. As you said, we will use some row, but we don't get any benefits from it, which is probably too weird. So far, plus equals false minus one. Okay, if it 
let's make sure we send to some need to return and there is no benefit here and now we go from the bottom and see yeah, now we go for I'm here equal to zero, I never pass to the other side. So if we always are on the left, then we cannot eat things from the right. And we have always reach the top and go back to time cells minus one. Here for Okay, so if there are no if there is nothing, then yeah, we take everything from the left and we do it yeah. Otherwise we don't and then here we say very it was must mean very best so far. Right, so here we need not empty I and it's empty. Okay, so now we need to go One, then we say last left equals one. If first left is in zero, first left is one. Kinds equals two, then last right equals one. If kinds i and one. Okay, two must be on the left here. And then without else. this one and now we need to handle everything below so if it's uh, if scene is out then we will be on both sides and no scene is even actually yeah is not equal to zero if scene is one uh, then Oh, no, 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 we need 
cannot do just first left and first right. We need to we need to compute the mask, right? is equal to one then we must take it we must go on the left and on the right we must take it from the top contest okay so here we take from the top uh, using right mask shift right okay I guess we can always do I minus okay minus one I minus three minus one then it's all from zero immediately and here we have the height which is i minus pref then we need to take that from, so we can take from top we have this stack of things otherwise we can choose whether we want left or right And we can choose whether we Yeah, and we can choose whether we uh, so far Anywhere, so we have both. Okay. Yeah, we have both sides now. Right. Okay. Then we have the top one, which is simply so far as equals take from bottom. Um, okay, here we have rows minus pf minus one. Take from bottom rows minus pref minus one. Left mask so far as equals take from bottom pref minus one right mask. So we must take those from bottom. We have ability of doing it. Right, I think that's all right. So we write parity. We build the masks and then we compute those extras. Okay, so here we do int take from top equals new int uh rows. And 
Here we go for an entire closure. analysis okay now all this is passed even though I don't handle tricky cases okay this is going to be fun should I go for medium problem this okay let's finish it okay so take integer highest one bit of mask then do integer number of trailing zeros plus one times two There is like a block of one, and this last one that I need to go down and up here. So two times. It's not enough because we have anywhere we can also take something from there and something from here. So we should go Yeah. So take from anywhere a mask equals mass mean take from anywhere a mask take from top. the right numbers okay of course it passes all still passes all samples Take from anywhere four, 
let's say we have nine, then just four. Right. Here we go. Take from bottom top four, nine with eight, and take from bottom nine with eight. Okay, twisted seems correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have on the left. That's good. Otherwise, if it's an odd number, we need to go below. Lost here. Eight hundred. Wow. Serious number. Serious scores for this problem. Eight hundred. Okay. So now your question: Do I type this one, and do I go try to go for the five hundred? I guess if there is a bug, I probably get. Can go get more than 500. So okay, let's read it really quickly again. So see something obvious. Some of these bugs. So we check mm, first cost to go from left to right or left to right. That's cost minus one. Then cost to it from the right. And we set on the first. I think cost to the right is always updated. And cost to it. From both sides, we updated with uh, up to previous and up to this right from the right. Yeah, now we remove empty rows at the top because they do not really help. We can always go through the previous one. So, after we remove the empty rows, we must reach the top row. If it's all empty, then we return zero. Right. And we must return to starting position, so... Okay. So this is like 9 times 500. Okay, this is fast. Then... To take this mask is equal to take from anywhere. Okay. Now we check mask what happens with each row. Um, Alright, should we? Yeah, because empty. Oh, but we are passing each row from some side, so if it's empty, we can just we'll find the optimal solution. When we are passing it. Yeah, and top row is not empty, so we are passing each row from some side, so we will find some, some way we don't need to deal with empty, actually. Okay, yeah, so actually empty was not needed, but anyway, it should be fine. Again, so we are passing it from this side, and left mask, and right mask, then we should either left or right for odd average of the number of seen ones except the first one so if we first pass horizontally the left one we take in all and the right ones we must take from top yeah I think so yeah I think so Okay, so... We must update from the bottom. Okay, it looks good. Let's try. 
за толкова ми тя му потъмни, но как го засунат една. Ще го инжат инвент ни ази. Кейзър за грид. Балак и лайт селс. Get one more to the other. Don't need the shortest. Just say which moves we do. Okay. So what we can do we take two cells in the same lower column then they are so different then the rust right one becomes sharp and the rest becomes dot and the left one always becomes dot Basically, if the left one was dot, then nothing changed, right? So, you can say different than this here. So, if the left one was a sharp, then we flip, right? So, if it was sharp, it becomes dot, otherwise, it becomes. We flip both of them. So, we can take a sharp and any other cell in this row column and flip them both. Okay, and now we need to get one rectangle from the other, and it's again nine times forty-seven. Okay, so okay, so we can kind of. Let's look at the first difference. In the first column, if there is any difference. Right. If there is some position where we need to get a sharp. First difference is if we need to get a sharp, then we are lost. If there is a sharp here, we need to get a dot. Then we can take this one, and there are two options. Either it goes down or goes to the right. So. We can do the DP, and our state is like, do we have kind of floating, floating pointer to the right? Actually, we may have multiple floating pointers, right? So we might have like multiple dots, which we can develop into sharps. So much for sharps. And we need to get three dots and three sharps. And yeah, we need to know how much. But in general, we kind of have like places where we need conversion in one direction and pluses and minuses. Now, for each plus, we need to pick a minus. Actually, not. We need to pick a minus to the right or down. So it's a matching, but then what we need to have then is that remaining pluses. Because we cannot just get rid of a plus side. Right? No, we can't. There is like a sharp and another. Yes, we need to pair them up. Each plus and either pair with another plus, in which case they just disappear. Or we pair it with the minus, in which case they also disappear. We also could pair it 
some cell is in dot and then we can add kind of a plus and minus there. yeah if it's sharp then no we can't yeah some dp on substance thing is probably don't have enough time for that okay yeah some people are solving no problems okay it's not my best round today so yeah some dp on substance probably still so it's our state it's still not clear yeah i need to test Practically I'll have any chance to solve it, I think, so I need to test the heart. Yeah. Yeah, testing is also having to read the heart, right? So I can't really test it that well. So this is the most tricky part, I guess. So if we have an odd number of traversals from left to right or from right to left, then... It's always nice to insert extra traversal on in line where we don't have a traversal and get cheaper result. So yeah. It's still correct what I know. So I pass okay. I say it's really clean, right? So I can okay. yes, stress actually clear how to write, but for me it's okay. Probably better to read, probably better to read, okay, so here is first so second so no kind of seems to me that it should be fine. This is suspicious, so it's kind of a lot somehow declares it obvious that we should kind of always go once to the top and once to the bottom and all remaining ones we go like and then go back I guess it's true more generally then go and go back without traversing horizontally so that's what is a bit suspicious but probably correct yeah, probably correct Take Okay, let's try some nice case. So okay, ten dots. Then we have a like this. Eleven, so we have this. So, yeah. Eleven dots. But second one is sharp. Eleven dots. But third one is sharp. And eleven dots. So here. Go up, 
up. Here it should be uh, 10 plus 10, 20 plus 626, 30. Should be 30, I think. Is equal to first one from left, so four plus two times two. Okay, what is fifty? Oh, okay. Plus the sharps themselves, right? So that's 50. Okay, maybe it still works. Okay, so what do we have here? In its place, but there's a hope is that all hearts will fail, but is it really true? No, probably not. Should have sold the medium, maybe. Yeah, hard to say, but such problems that uh, everything can fail. Everything can fail. Okay. So what do we do? So people, we want to challenge all of them. So the plan is to... Okay. The plan is to... Yeah, what are tricky cases in the easy? I think probably tricky cases. Okay, where we don't need, but then it is. Quote uh, by samples. Where we don't need magic. There was a sample with answer one. This sample, some other samples, okay. Uh, tricky case might be where here you always on duration. Yes, this, this should fail. Right binary search, but then mm. Mm, yeah, just make the ration very big, right? So then and if I do if we go more than zero, x triples duration. Fail. No, it doesn't fail right? because yeah, because then I can just if I wasted one I can do earlier. So yeah, the only tricky case is when but is it caught by samples? Not caught 
Let's sample. Okay, so yes. There's a way to catch it. Let's to take any sample and increase duration. A sample where magic is needed to increase duration. For example, last sample. Take a sample and increase duration to, to 200. Then go a little too much. I guess another thing that can happen is. Oh, just time out, right? Can it actually time out? Ten to the power of twelve. Hundred power of ten, yeah, should time out. Okay. So we have timeouts and we have overflows. Really hard to catch in this and we have this bug, which is easy to catch. Okay, let's try. So there's some turn research on up to duration. Use magic here. Mm -hmm. Five times so back times six. Okay, this seems to be problematic. Okay, attack one hundred, increase by one hundred. Magic can be had for duration. Five, eight hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four. Then it's one thousand, five thousand. Okay, seems incorrect. Yeah. Ah, oh, seems incorrect. Handling of magic. Okay. What do we have here? Deeper by Missouri. Okay, so we try to see how much time we wait before we apply magic, I see. And it can overflow quite easily. But it's not so good. Checks whether we can do it in this time. Okay. So.
So if we can do it in this style, if we just can spend all time attacking, then we return true. Otherwise, we see we try to increase power at the end. Mm -hmm. And then we add it difference times 5, and if it's more than HP, then I turn to. Okay, yeah, so this overflows, but how to get it to overflow? How to get it to overflow? Yeah, apart from overflow, this seems correct. So I guess. Ten to the power of ten, let's say. And it will be ten to the power of ten times ten to the power of ten times ten to the power of ten. Here we will do incorrect thing. We try the middle point. So we try something like five billion. Okay. We try this. And then we do hundred times this times this. It is interesting. Okay, so here we see damage. Okay, so here we have Press the sample. Can we do it in one? Oh, we just have a special case for doing it in one. Okay, so. Oh, and then it always makes sense. It's only for one, right? because if it's at least two. And then waiting and then incrementing. Actually, no, it's not at all wrong. So, if we go whatever one, two, three, and so ten, no, but we can boost the ten and get basically instead of nine, ten, we get nine times five, right? So, that's kind of always better. Yeah, it's always better. So it's only for one in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay, this might be correct. 
So here we just do just damage. So that also restores an arrow. And we found how much of them, given this amount. We see how much we actually need to extra do extra damage. Okay, and that's probably good. Okay, let's evaluate this heart, which is also good. Okay, and mine is still standing. So either to the maximum and then let's see what do we have here? Maybe it's int. No? Int. No, we find int on clock. Okay. Gotcha. It's pretty cool. So what do we have here? Long, long five. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. No. No overflow. I see overflow.
So it's either exponential. Yeah, that's too much. If I can. Let's drink with me one. Okay. I mean, yeah, probably a lot more solutions will fail, like a lot more. But here I am. Okay, so far fifth place, let's see. 